What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Vertical MRO. I'm your host, Val Medved, and today we have an incredibly special guest joining us. With over 37 years of experience in the aviation industry, he is a licensed airframe and power plant mechanic who specializes in turbine engine inspections and major repairs. He is the founder and owner of Intermountain Turbine Services Incorporated, a company he has successfully led for 31 years. Under his leadership, ITS has grown from parts distribution facility in 1993 to a comprehensive service center recognized by industry giants like Honeywell. The company has expanded to include a satellite facility in Phoenix, an engine repair shop, and a state-of-the-art test cell facility, achieving multiple accreditations and certifications along the way. Before founding ITS, he honed his skills over at Rocky Mountain Helicopters, where he overhauled and repaired over 300 engines and modules. Contributed to the multiple completions of a ton of medical helicopters needs. His extensive service and experience and dedication to the excellence has made him a respected figure in the aviation and helicopter maintenance community. Please welcome to Vertical MRO, Mr. Daryl Christensen. This is Vertical MRO. Special thanks to our sponsors for this podcast, Vertical Aviation International and Salus Aviation. Welcome to the Vertical MRO Podcast, brought to you by Vertical Helicasts. All right, everyone, uh, you're at our contact, you're cleared to the Bravo. The Vertical MRO Podcast explores the fascinating world of helicopter maintenance, repair, and overhaul with your host, Val Medved. Now line out, Senator 3029, approved as requested. The podcast features helicopter technicians, mechanics, engineers, and MRO experts who share invaluable industry insight knowledge, and stories that will inspire current and aspiring industry maintainers. What's up, everybody? It's Val here, back for the Vertical MRO podcast. And today, I have an awesome guest, a longtime friend, um, recently turned loyal listener. Um, <laughs> uh, someone that's been in the industry for just over three and a half decades. Uh, He's, he's founded his company. Now he's the president of the said company and just kind of make life a little more easier for himself. He decided to take on a, uh, on a, on a, on an engine series here with the type certificate here. So, uh, let me, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my good friend, Daryl Christensen. Hi, say hi, Daryl. Hello everyone. Uh, <laughs> how are we doing today, buddy? How's, how are things out in Utah? Doing good. It's warming up out here. Are you under the heat ban as well? Yes, we are. But it's not as hot as some places, but I think we hit 100 today. 100 at that elevation is not 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 funny. I know yeah. that. You're, you're at a decent elevation there too, aren't you? Yeah, we're at uh, 4,200 feet. Oh, okay. Slightly yeah. short of a nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here here we are, Daryl. Thanks for coming on, buddy. This is uh, this is an absolute pleasure to have you with us. And uh, you're looking spry as ever. Uh that last time I saw you, we were in Australia together here, and I know you did a little extra touring. How was that for you? Oh, we had a blast. Really enjoyed uh, Sydney. So, oh, you went down to Sydney after after Brisbane. Yes. Nice, nice catch. Did you go to the uh, Opera Center? Um, no, we looked across the bay at it. So we enjoyed the light show. They had a big. Uh, uh, let's see, we were there for a drone show. Nice. Um, in the evening, it was it was a lot of fun. Drone shows, I think, I, I guess they're coming more and more popular. The uh, anti fireworks people out there, and I'm kind of one of those people. I, and as much as I enjoy fireworks, I can't sit idly anymore if I'm at home watching because I have dogs that are absolutely terrified of it. Yeah. And <laughs> full on run into the closet, bury themselves in all of our clothes, <laughs> and I feel bad for my Gracie when that happens. But so I have yet to catch a drone show. It's, it's, uh, it'll, I'm sure I'll come across one. So Daryl, in case you, you, uh, kind of caught yourself up, we start off with a drink in the hand. What you drinking, buddy? Moscow Mule. Moscow. 